Big booty, big booty, big booty, big booty! How you guys doing today? Hi, YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to get a bigger butt. A badunk a dunk a booty, a big old thing, a wagon, a bum, whatever you want to call it. You want it, and if you didn't, you wouldn't be sitting here watching this video. So I'm going to give you some tips and some tricks on how to grow your booty. Let's begin. So it all starts in the kitchen. It all starts with what you eat. I know you think if you want a bunch of junk in your trunk, you need to put some junk in your mouth, but that is absolutely not true. Junk food and all of that is not going to help grow your butt. Is gonna help grow your stomach and all the other places that you don't want to grow. What you wanna do is eat a healthy, balanced diet, but if you are on the skinnier side, you probably just wanna eat more of the healthy foods. You probably just wanna eat more healthy fat. One of my favorite, some of my favorite healthy foods to eat to help like bulk up would be sweet potatoes, and you can just substitute sweet potatoes in exchange for regular potatoes. If you like french fries, I like to make mine oven baked. You just drizzle a little olive oil on some sweet potatoes, put them in the oven for like 30 minutes on 350, pour them out and then dash them with a little salt mm, to live for. You can have them mashed up like mashed potatoes. However you like to eat it, you can do that and just substitute a regular potato with sweet potato. Another substitution is mayonnaise. It's full of just fat and a bunch of stuff that you don't want in your body but it's so good and creamy on sandwiches that you love to eat it you can substitute mayonnaise with avocado just take avocado season it with salt and pepper mash it with a fork if it's really right and spread it on some bread and boom you won't miss the difference actually you might miss the difference because avocado tastes a little better Another substitution, just to throw in there quickly, is brown rice instead of plain white rice. Brown rice has so many nutrients that's good for you and it just feels really good. And it's also a healthy thing that could help you add weight to your body. So if you're skinny, you want to eat a little more sweet potato, a little more brown rice, a little more avocado than us girls. That's already thick. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, but a really surefire way to grow your booty outside of the kitchen is how you work out. And I'm going to show you some of my favorite workouts right now. So hold on. When I do any glute building exercises, I like to go ahead and incorporate a weight. And mine is 25 pounds. And I just went ahead and picked it up from Target. And I guess they charge like a dollar a pound because it was $25. So I like to just incorporate some weight so that it helps with building the glutes. Now, anytime you do any glute exercises and you go down, when you come up, you wanna squeeze the booty really tight. That really activates the workout. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Say you're doing a squat, hold your weight here. You're gonna drop down and when you come up, boom, tight booty. This is a relaxed booty. This is a tight booty. Relax, tight. You want to make sure you go ahead and tighten it just so the exercise go into like full effect. Tight booty. Drop it down, bring it up. 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 Tight booty. Even if you're doing deadlifts, no matter what exercise you're doing, you want to go ahead and tighten your booty when you come up. Tight booty. Tight booty. Tight booty. Tight booty. And I also like to hold the weight over my head when I do a squat. And when you drop it down and you lift up, tight booty. Down, up, tight booty. Tight booty. Tight booty. Tight booty. 
So it's tight booty every exercise, you guys. If you got that, comment down below tight booty so I know you watched this part and we, we right here with each other. Comment down below. Okay, so those are just a couple of my favorite glute exercises. I didn't want to give y'all a whole routine of that. Y'all be like, hold on. We clicked on here for some tips and tricks. We ain't click on here to see a whole workout. But if you would like to see more glute workouts, comment that down below so I can know and I can make y'all a video. So, yes, eating healthy and working out. And with the working out, you only want to do it like, you only want to work on your legs like three or four days out the week. You know what? You could do what you want to do because it's your body. But if you want to take my advice that I'm giving you, because we family now. We past YouTube friends, y'all. We family. We YouTube family. Hey, how you doing, family? I love you. If you want to take my family advice that I'm giving you, I wouldn't work out my legs and glutes more than three or four days out of the week because it needs to rest so that it can grow, child. Let it get some sleep so it could wake up and be popping and be banging and be juicy and be all that. So let it rest. If you take my advice, let it rest. And then watch it grow. It's like a chia bed or something. Ch -ch -ch chia. Yeah, so you feed it and it will grow. So yes, you eat good, you work out, you let it rest, and always, always, always drink water. Drink water no matter what. Like I just bought a new gallon water bottle. Hold on, let me show you guys. <laughs> I literally, like, I have been drinking, like, either I'll buy a gallon of water from Safeway or something, and then I'll just use that bottle to keep drinking, or I had, like, this really big cup that I got from 7-Eleven. It was, like, a really big, like, smoothie cup, and I'll drink, like, two of those, or I just find a way to think that I'm drinking a gallon, but this is a sure fire way. It is a one-gallon water bottle, and then it shows you how much you've drank. See, if you fill it up and then you drink all of it, Go ahead and focus this. That's a gallon right there. 128 ounces is a gallon. I just got me some lemon in here to go ahead and make my water alkaline, you guys. I love drinking lemon water, but plain water, any water really works. But make sure you try to get a gallon in a day. It'll keep your stomach flat. It'll make your booty big. It'll keep your skin clear. A gallon of water a day minimum is... <laughs> and you're on your way to a bigger, juicier booty. Child, what you want to do? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below what other videos you would like to see me make. Also comment type booty so I know you on a team. What's Don't up? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And you know what? If you know a friend that need a tight booty, that need a bigger booty, if you can help a friend, help a friend. Go touch somebody. Go share this video with them so that they can see some tips to get a get big booty. That way y'all could be banging together. Because look, banging by yourself ain't fair. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I love y'all. Have an awesome day. Mwah. I think we son, you guys. That's not going in there, but... Oh. <laughs> big booty, big booty, big booty, big booty!